on the flight home from Jamaica, I realized you were definitely a linguist. On the plane ride home, I asked Kevin and Sarah why our rose smelled like barbecue chips. And they both said, I have no idea. <laughs> Weeks later, I found out that Sarah played the silent but deadly game. <laughs> now that is something a linguist would do. today in the great outdoors at Camp Dark Waters, a 15 acres outdoor camp along the Rancocas Creek in Medford, New Jersey. What wonderful memories you both have together. The first date, the proposal in Breckenridge, Colorado, the elopement in Maine on Cadillac Mountain in Acadia National Park, and today at Camp Dark Waters, renewing your vows and sharing this occasion with family and friends and remembering those that cannot be here with us today. This is the good life, the good I promise to make even your craziest dreams come true. And let's start that right now. Remember when you used to joke that you wanted to fire off t-shirts and beer in a t-shirt cannon at your wedding someday? Well, I half delivered, minus the cannon, which was too dangerous and expensive to rent. I picked the best picture for you. That's yours. And then you could toss some beer and some t-shirts out to everyone. <laughs> nice and perky. You like a little perky. Wow. Wow. Oh. Wow. So pretty. You like this? Yeah, song? it's cool. I mean, it's so you. It's, it is me, so right? You. Yeah. Oh, come on. Made me cry. I know. Here it is. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that says. I just want to say our favorite saying, which is, I love you to the moon and back. Please don't hate me as you open this gift. Alright. All you gotta do, you know, you know the rules. There's two of them. What do I do with two? I'm not gonna let you do it by yourself. I'm gonna do it with you. her very first boyfriend. <laughs> she had a somewhat peculiar but very dedicated very dedicated way of saving her memories. Sarah had a three inch ring binder, like the biggest one you could find at the store. Dave, where's it at, Dave? <laughs> and she filled it with all of her AIM, MySpace, and text messages between her and her then boyfriend. So it only seems fair that we bring that tradition back, right? Right? They don't have it. That's, that's gonna be fake. Oh, look at the so I took the liberty of screenshotting all of your messages from the past week and printed them out. You can confirm that they're in there right now. Go ahead, open it. Those are your messages. No, there's no Taco Bell in this one. The best is yet to come.
My name is John, and I am the best man, as well as the better looking, more intelligent, more athletic, older brother of the group. In all seriousness, I was glad I was actually invited to Maine and this wedding since I was literally <laughs> the last person on earth to know how these two actually met. I found out one year later that these two lovebirds met on the dating app Plenty of Fish. Kevin told me that they met through a mutual friend. But I was the last person, our closest friends, everyone out there knew but me. This is for you, Kevin. Please open it right now. I don't want to. Oh, I don't care. Open it. Zach and Dan, you guys are screwed. The best is yet to come.